Hey everybody. So today I used um, the bare bulb, the AD200. Um, I used the remote because I, you know, like I really hate this all in one. Um, I want it off camera and I love the remote head. So, you know, this is, you know, I can't use this without this. Um, and the longer cord that they put with the new one is really nice too. Anyway, so I put this in an umbrella, you know, large umbrella. I think it's, it's 70 inch or something. I don't know. It's a big thing. Um, and then I just used straight bare bulb, nothing else. I bounced it off some V flats. Um, I just played, I had fun. Uh, but I just, you know, I really wanted to give the remote a second try. I did start in TTL, but then I was just like, no, <laughs> it wasn't even close. Um, you know, I, I, and again, this is their first try with Leica. So, you know, maybe that's the issue. I don't know, but I went, went right over to manual after that, but I didn't get as many misfires. I was off of the legacy pin um, because, you know, this has TTL, but I still put it in manual and I didn't get as many misfires. I only got like one or two, which is a really positive thing, um, you know, for, the, for that side of it. The TTL is just not there. Um, the Profoto Leica Connect Pro is better. Um, but just to fire these, the 8200, the 8300, and the 8100, it's fine. It works. So, you know, that being said, um, I love bare bulb. I think it's fun. And in a studio, you can just play with it and bounce it everywhere. And if you want to control it, throw up some V-flats, you know, either white side, black side, whatever you want to do. Um, and just move it around and play. There's no rhyme or reason on, on how I did things or what I did things. I just figured... Okay, I'll try this next. It worked out. Um, I haven't seen the photos yet. I just downloaded them and I just finished with her. You know, her hair was not, um, it was not done for the shoot. It was just done. It was just cut, but it was all soft and pretty. And some of these outfits that she had uh, and some of the poses we did were not for a soft and pretty hair. But the, I think the photos are still going to look nice. And you'll get the idea of, of what they look like and how they look. The other thing that I did, um, believe it or not, is I shot at ISO 800. Um, rather than blatantly putting it in your face that I was using flash, I, I just wanted to, a lot of the times, just make it look like natural light or enhance the natural light that's coming in through the window just a little bit. Um, but I would say 80% of the light was still coming from this and it still looked natural because I did what, do what I did. Um, so that's going to be, you know, fun to look at as well. Shooting at ISO 800 in the studio, 1 80th of a second. And I shot in between 5.6 and F8 because um, I really wanted that not in your face lit photo, um, if that makes sense. So I hope I achieved it. Anyway, rather than me babbling on, let's get to the shoot and take a look and... and yeah, we're going we're gonna to see these together because I haven't seen them. Anyway, thanks for watching as always. I can't tell you how much I love this bear bulb in this giant umbrella. Um, the light it put out is just so nice and natural. Uh, like I said, probably 80% is coming from this umbrella. Uh, the other 20% from, you know, the window. But I really wanted to make these look somewhat natural, if you will rather than, oh, he's using a strobe, you know. Um, I know a lot of people love that look, and I, you know, again, I have nothing against whatever you want to do or however you want to do it, uh, but myself, I like a natural light, and, and, you know, even after 40 years, I'm still trying to perfect that, um, that natural look or, you know, just not going overboard with a strobe just to say, hey, look, I use strobe. <laughs> that, that's not for me. Um, that, like, again, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, those who do it, more power to you. But for me, I, I want to enhance natural light as much as possible. And in a studio, that's really hard, especially with the tinted windows like this and, uh, you know, the time of day and the weather. Um, you know, I just do what I can do. But, you know, using this big umbrella with this bare bulb, kind of worked. Um, I was kind of digging it. You know, I have a white studio, so like, like I said, it's going to bounce everywhere. But, you know, I have that um, black V-flat on, on the model's left, um, our left, the model's right, um, and it does a nice job. 
And the photos from this, I'm, I'm kind of digging. Uh, you know, like you can put a diffuser on this umbrella to, to soften it up, but I like that, you know, little bit harder look. Um, again, my taste, my taste alone. But anyway, this was just a fun shoot. The, the clothing and boots she's wearing, by the way, were designed from a woman um, who makes these things from scratch. Like she literally designs clothes for people and you know this this young lady got one um and i loved it i think i think it's a very very cool outfit uh and she's just starting out so anything i can do to help um you know post and tag her and so forth uh you know we got to support each other um and and she did a really the, you know what's amazing whether you like the outfit or not the boots were a little much but the you know the outfit itself was so well tailored like this woman can use a sewing machine and can cut um so that I have to give her props for, because it was really, really well made um, for being a one-off like this. Anyway, so I, moving that umbrella back, I'm adding a little bit more drama for the sitting. You know, it's still wrapping around her quite a bit. I'm getting some on the backdrop. I'm getting some, you know, in front of her. And it will wrap, even though I have the black B-flat. It's still going to wrap quite a bit around her, because it's a 70-some inch umbrella. But it softens the shadows that I wanted. You know, they're the harsh shadows um, on our left. It, you know, it, it does soften them a little bit. And I, I kind of like the way it looked. Anyway, so now I'm just going to grab the V-flat and try to make a, you know, a black backdrop kind of thing. Of course, I'm going to have to edit it in, in Photoshop, take the lines out and so forth. But here's out of camera. Um, and then I did a quick edit just to fill in the, in the spots. You know, this is, you know, when you're using black like this, you can see on, on the left, it, it disappears. You know, that's where that second light would really come in handy. Uh, or just don't use a black backdrop. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of simple. Um, but play, you know, move lights. So this is straight bare bulb now. I added the V-flat just for dimension to the photo. Because if you just do the bulb and the white, it's just going to be a model against the white backdrop. Now, here's the thing. Like... This photo, there's something wrong with it, drove me crazy, and it's her shadow. Her shadow looks like a little dude <laughs> versus what she looks like. You really have to watch this. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop that light down so the shadow is going to appear, you know, a little bit bigger, a little taller, if you will. You know, because it was going down, it was, you know, giving her like a little short person kind of kind of vibe. Um, nothing wrong with short people. Um, but now I'm just going to move her body to not only, you know, enhance her, her body, but also the shadow. Uh, because, you know, if you have a, a, a beautiful picture of a girl and then it looks like a little guy behind her, it's kind of weird. So I'm just moving her and angling her in ways so we can bring out the shadow uh, to a more feminine shadow, if you will. Um, when I saw that, I was like, I was taken back by it. But like this here, you can see, you know, it's showing off her curves and everything in the shadow as well as the photo itself.